Christy back with another IGC Answers, Inside the Convent Answers. I've got four more answers for you today. The questions are all posted below and we'll get started. So the first question is, how can you find out about different religious orders? The best thing to do if you are thinking about a vocation, first off, is just to talk to your parish priest. Or if you have any nuns in your area, you can talk to them as well. Talk to them about the things that you like, what your charisms are, the kind of ministries that you enjoy, what you're really passionate about, and they can help direct you to different convents that might be a good fit for you. The other option, if you don't know any nuns, if your priest doesn't know that many orders, you can also get on, there's a couple of web pages that I would suggest. The first one is vocationnetwork.org. There you can get on and they have a bunch of different information you can look up. They actually have um, a list of different convents with blurbs about each one. Um, and I think there are links as well to their web pages on some of them. So um, that's a really good resource. The other one is uh, cmswr.org. And that is the Council of Major Superiors of Women Religious. They also have a ton of information. They highlight different orders. You can go in there and see some of the different orders associated with them. Imagine Sisters is another one. <laughs> They're really great. They post a bunch of different videos from different orders. They post information about retreats coming up. A lot of fun. They have really great inspiring conversations and articles that they post through their Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, all of that kind of stuff. They're all over social media, so you can look them up as well. So this question came from Facebook and says, On the sisterhood, you seem to have had what appeared to be an anxiety attack when you were overcome by the heat outside. As someone who has wanted to be a nun and who also suffers pretty severe anxiety, I was wondering if you have ever had experience with that and if it has affected your ability to pursue your vocation. So anxiety is something that I am familiar with. I am kind of prone to it, but um, I don't have it very frequently and certainly not to the extent that I had it um, over the summer. Keeping in mind, there's a lot of stress that goes into discernment because that process involves kind of giving up your own will, right? You give up your own desires and you die to a lot of what you had planned for your life in order to be open to what God might have for you. So it's very natural to feel stressed, to feel anxious and overwhelmed. Um, I talk about that in some of my videos on um, Inside the Convent, you know, just this kind of anxiety that comes with any major life decision with getting married, changing a job, moving, um, entering the convent or seminary. It's a normal part of life. For me it hasn't really been a hindrance in discerning my vocation because there's also a lot of peace that comes with discernment with knowing that at the end of this whole process I'm going to be where God wants me. Whether that's in the convent or out of the convent, I don't know. You know, this is a day by day thing and I can only go so far as God directs me. If you're looking at a convent and you do have anxiety, talk about it with the vocations director. Let them know what's going on with you. They will work with you and you can figure all that out. It certainly shouldn't be something that stops you from pursuing a vocation. And I'm always available to talk to <laughs> if you want to message me, write me with uh, whatever's freaking you out at the moment. I can uh, do my best to, to answer your questions and, and help you out. Special things I love to do in adoration. I really like when I have the whole chapel to myself to sing my prayers. Um, sometimes I make them up, sometimes it's a song I know, or I look up the lyrics on my phone, and I just, I love to sing. Uh, I have my journal that I always like to write in. It helps me to really focus my prayer and to be aware of what I'm saying and what God might be saying to me. And then sometimes I'll read. Uh, right now I'm working on uh, this book about Christian mysticism. Um, and reading about the Trinity, so that's cool. But yeah, probably the biggest one is when I'm alone in chapel and I'm able to just sing, you know, and, and be with Jesus. Uh, actually, we don't have to cut our hair. I have kept mine long. I'll probably keep it long for a while. I might cut it shorter in the summer just because it's hot and 
if you like it. Um, but we can keep it long. So um, it will be long for a while. Yay. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for checking in. That was ITC Answers. And we'll be back in a couple days with another Inside the Convent update on what's going on here. Again, if you have any questions, always feel free to write them in the comments below. You can message them to me on Facebook or Twitter. You can email me. Uh, so all kinds of options. And uh, I will talk to you soon.